Hey everyone, uh, it's Muscle420 uh, here. I have a, uh, <clears throat> a different video than I've ever uploaded before for you. So I wanted to let you know if you are sensitive to heavy issues or you just don't want to hear it, uh, please check out any of my other videos or just click away now. Um, this one's going to be pretty heavy. This video is going to be a topic I have wanted to discuss for almost a year now but I've, I've honestly not had the words to do it. So today, um, I wanted to discuss mortality, suicide, and friends. And more importantly, I guess, how uh, Elder Scrolls Online prevented one and strengthened another. Uh, for me, of course. I wanted to start with a little backstory. Uh, so, <coughs> alright, here we go. Last chance to click away. <laughs> yeah. so, about this time last year, um, my wife and stepdaughter uh, left for California. And I was pursuing streaming um, on Twitch as a full time career and stayed home to pursue that and to develop that career to its fullest potential, or so I thought when I was doing. I also have major back problems too. And uh, I'll be honest, um, my wife and I, we talked about it, and 10 hour plane rides are just not good for me. Um, they'd make me, you know, laid up for almost the whole time I'd be wherever we our destination was, I'd be laid up. So, um, so I opted out for that reason as well to go to California. So, uh, so long story short, Two months later, two months later, uh, they never came back. They were gone, and this was the most devastating thing in my life. All I had was my dog, uh, and this was even more devastating. Was the fact that I was unable to take care of my dog just due to my condition, my disability, and I had a house that was too big, too much land to take care of, and debt piling up that I had no motivation to take care of. And at the darkest moment, I was sitting alone in complete darkness. Power was out. My phone had no service. I was, I was running on a generator, keeping the internet on, so I'd be able to communicate with people if I needed to. Listening to the rain hit the ceiling. Looking at my phone, and reading uh, the I love you texts we sent the previous weeks. My emotions were too much for me and to handle him. I did have a, a loaded pistol in front of me. And uh, it was looking pretty, it was looking pretty inviting at that point. And I texted one of my Discord friends <coughs> and, and let them know I might never be coming back to the game or logging in again. And then after I sent that text, I thought to myself, who fucking cares, dude? You're just a gamer and honestly, you're replaceable. Like, you're, you're a name on Discord. Who, who gives a shit? You have a little channel on YouTube. You upload shitty videos of whatever you're doing on the SO. And, like, literally, that's it. And I minimized my own existence like that uh, because, honestly, I had nothing at that point. Absolutely nothing. And uh, so this is how I justified uh, the thought in my head to just go ahead and end myself. Um, just completely end my line and call it good. Uh, you know, a reset, I guess, if you believe in reincarnation. Um, and then my, re my friend responded and we talked for hours that night. And uh, I'll be honest, uh, she talked the gun out of my hand. Um, I didn't tell her that and to be honest I've been lying to everyone since then no one really knows the truth I guess until like right now of what I went through and I don't really want to reveal the full extent of what it was on the internet because I, I just I don't feel like it would be respectful I'm just trying to reveal my side of it but what I did want to reveal is the strength of friendship. Just because it's a game 
doesn't mean it's not real. It doesn't mean that our friendships aren't real. They are. We are all people, and uh, something I've learned is we all have a purpose. We all have feelings, and we all have been loved. We all have loved, and we are all, and, and we have all been in love at times. Um, just make sure you tell the people in your in your life you love them if you do. Even your friends, you know. Make sure you don't stop and, and say what you mean when you mean it and when you think it. Because honestly, here's the reality: it could be the last words you you'll have with someone. You may not ever be able to touch that person again. Feeling their warmth of their hand on your hand. If someone is reaching out for help, help them if you can. I ended up quitting for a few patches while I texted my friends on Discord. They asked when I was coming back, but the truth was I had no plans to. I immersed myself in a new career. <clears throat> Trying to forget the complete loss of, of my family and the life that I had. The woman I knew for 20 years. I did make a vow to continue uploading videos to my YouTube to keep my mind off real life. And to fill an unfillable void that has been left in its place. I, I never really wanted any of this to happen the way it did. Our anniversary came and went. My mind drifted towards the message in a bottle I gave her on our first anniversary. The message inside, something for her that I never told anyone else and most likely never will. I will make it right next time, and I am sorry. The more I have thought about it, the more I believe this message has a place and it fits. Really, my reason for making this video is to thank you. You are watching to this point. You are one of the real ones that have been here with me throughout the entire thing. Even if you didn't make it here, I want you to know that I still appreciate you. If it wasn't for you stopping into my streams, commenting, and saying hi in my videos, jumping into my open party chats, I probably wouldn't be here right now, to be honest. So thank you. If you ever, if you ever need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to send me a uh, message on PlayStation or a Discord message. I'm not some elitist who won't respond to you uh, if you message me. Um, I will respond to all messages uh, regarding issues like this. You know, if, you, if you need help, reach out. I care about you. You are cared for by, by people you might not even know. Thinking about these people that care about you, but they do. And uh, I just wanted to tell you, if you're there and you're in a place like this right now, stay. Uh, don't go. Life will, uh, life will get better. Anyway, this video had to be made, uh, and I'll get back to what I usually do. But this, I just wanted to get something like this out uh, because, to be honest, this is what I've been going through for the past year, and uh, I figured you should know. See you in the next one. My father told me this world was only a preparation for the next. All we can ask is that we leave it, having loved, and being loved. I will search for you through a thousand worlds, and ten thousand lifetimes until I find you. I will wait for you and all of them.